You didn't think I was going to stop at WrestleMania, did you? No, 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 no. I had to finish this. I had to finish what I started, man. Hell yeah. So, we are here to review ECW One Night Stand 2006, the weakest show they had. Wow. Okay, so you can clearly tell that this pay-per-view was WWE produced. I mean, damn, at least the other, the last one looked like it was ECW produced. Woo! I don't know what happened between that year, but I don't like it. Not to mention, this was the last one right before ECW got rebranded to a TV deal on, what was it? Was it Sci-Fi at the time? So, yeah. The shitty ECW would have begun right after this. So, match one was Taz versus Jerry Lawler. Forgettable match. Didn't really care about it. Taz wins. Thank goodness. Match number two was Randy Orton versus Kurt Angle. I don't know why. I think Kurt Angle got affected to ECW. I kind of forgot that storyline and the reason how that happened. I really didn't give a fuck, really. But, yeah... I guess that works, even though this was Kurt Angle's last year in WWE anyway, until he went to TNA that same year. So, yeah. Kurt Angle wins that match. Next up, we got the full-blooded full Italians, or FBI, versus Super Crazy and Tajiri. Finally, an ECW match. It only took two matches, you know. But we got one. It was good. I like this. I like these these type of superstars right here. They know how they know how to get down. They know how to do those spots. So that was a good match. Uh, FBI wins that match, of course. Uh, next match we have Sabu versus Rey Mysterio for the World Heavyweight Title. This should have been match of the night. Kind of. This should have been a good match. Let me tell you why it's not a good fucking match. The match ended in no contest. So, so let me get this straight. You had a chance to put the World Heavyweight Championship on Sabu. No contest. Way to believe in your superstars, man. Way to believe, you know. Wow. Is there any more failures to this already pay-per-view than it already is? Any more? <sighs> Which was the match of the night, however. Mick Foley versus, I mean, Mick Foley, Edge, and Lita versus Tommy Dreener, uh, Terry Funk, and what was it? I forgot her name, but I know her last name is Bueller. But uh, I know Bueller had made like a sex tape or something for Tommy Dreamer. So it got leaked. Way to go for that, Bueller. But anyways, yes, these four had a fucking... I mean, these three had a... Six had a contest, and it was fucking amazing. I loved that Mick Foley Edge team up. It was brief. And it was right after they had that awesome ass match, by the way. But I loved that. I loved their that chemistry. I don't know why... But it was awesome, and it made for very good TV, especially here, man. And where ECW, where anything can fucking happen, and the guys and girls can go at it. Yeah, and that's exactly what happens. It was awesome. Edge and Foley wins. Edge gets the best fucking pen, okay? Look like he's fucking Bueller and the pussy. That's awesome. That's fucking awesome. Rated R Superstar at his best, man. I miss Edge. Match 6. We have Boss Mahoney versus Tanaka. Okay, match. I love Boss Mahoney. He's fucking awesome. And he has the best fucking name in the industry today. Boss Mahoney. Okay? J -j Just let that sit in your head. Boss Mahoney. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Mahoney gets that win. And finally, this is going to be a short review because there's not much here. Because this was the other disappointment. Rob Van Dam versus John Cena for the WWE Championship. 
You want to know what the standout was in this match? The whole fucking crowd, man. That crowd went ape shit over Cena. And it's awesome, okay? Middle fingers left and right. As soon as, he, as soon as the crowd said same old shit, John Cena went up to the top rope like, I can counter that. And did this weird fucking thing down below. You could have did a fucking suicide dive or a fucking flip off that motherfucker, but okay. It still didn't shut him up, though. You need to do something that would shut him the fuck up. Then all of a sudden, Cena had this heel moment. And he kind of went heel for like a minute. And it's kind of cool, because he knocked out the referee, hit fucking RVD with the fucking stairs, and shit like that. And I love the people, that person with the sign in the crowd that said, if Cena wins, we riot. That's exactly my fucking point, because I did not want to see Cena win this match in the ECW environment. Because when it comes to ECW, and if I'm reviewing something with ECW, you best believe my ass is ECW for that one moment. Okay? So, hell yeah. So, the fact that he kind of went heel kind of made me happy again for like 10 minutes. But, you know what ended up saving that entire match besides the crowd? Once again... My boy Edge couldn't stay away. Spear Cena do a table nonetheless, man. Knocked out the WWE referee since the ECW referee got knocked the fuck out by Cena. And RVD got the frog splash. RVD wins. WWE, ugh. ECW champion. ECW world wrestling champion. I don't fucking know how you would say that. But he's WWE champion, basically. An ECW environment. All's well that ends well. Well, because of Paul Heyman. Because since he couldn't wake up the other fucking referee, here comes old Paul Lee down to the ramp. Like, get on him! Get on him! And got the one, two, three that way. That was awesome. That was fucking awesome. Even my head was going. Like, yes. God damn it. All in all, though, this is not a very good show, but it has some decent matches. That Mick Foley and Edge match was the shit. RVD vs. Cena was cool because of that fucking hot crowd. That crowd was the shit. That crowd was all ECW, and I could not be more happy because I am all ECW when it comes to ECW stuff, okay? Don't fuck with my product, man. Anyways, I will give One Night Stand 2006 a C plus, a very disappointing show, especially off the heels of the inaugural show the year before. The fuck, man. The fuck, WWE. Well, this will be the last time you will see a ECW One Night Stand, because the following year they will turn it into WWE One Night Stand. Why? I don't fucking know. But I will see you guys in my next WWE event, ECW, WCW, whatever I might do. It might be the bash, it might be capital punishment, since they only have one pay-per-view apiece. You know, so, we'll find out. Anyways, I will see y'all then.